Hey guys, Mick from Aussie Carp Fish Shows here. Um, today is going to be a taste test. I'm, for the first time in my life, going to try carp. Now, as much as I hate the fact of killing them, um, I caught this one and I've said that I'm going to try it out. So I caught this one yesterday up on the Hunter River and it's going to be a taste test. So we'll see how we go. As you can see, it's a good sized fish, covered in slime. Um, I caught it and I put it straight on ice like I've been told repeatedly to do, so yeah, see what happens, eh? going to be interesting because it's got all the scales on there, thick scales. Poor baby. So this fish, when I caught it yesterday, it went straight up into the esky and straight onto ice. And as I said, that's what I've been told to do, so I keep seeing videos saying to do that. Then you've got to run the knife across the back of the ribs. And then basically just follow the rib cage down. Okay, one side off.
I know I kind of think I should have bled it first, but. Now this is the part I'm not used to doing. I don't normally skin my fish. So let's see how much I stuff this up. and slippery. I thought this is supposed to be easy. Like a knife just going through the skin. So I did a shit job of skinning it. <laughs> well, there's really not a lot of meat on them, is there? That's basically what I've been told to eat. And then there's a bit up the top that I've screwed up anyway, so... There's got to be a better way to do that, because there's way too much waste in that. In my opinion. All that to get this piece of fucking fish. Way too much. Alright, that's what I'm doing it. So I'm doing it. I've got a couple of pieces of carp. Um, in all honesty, the amount that you get out of the plate. Um, compared to fucking how big the fish is, I think it's quite a waste. I don't think I'll be doing that again. Oh, except the social day I plan to, but hmm, be alright if this stupid thing will turn and there we go. So, um, what you guys can't see on Facebook is that I'm live streaming now. I've got a my little gas cooker in front of me. I've got some flour, salt, pepper, and some oil. Um, gas cooker's got oil on the heat in a frying pan. I throw a little bit of flour onto a plate, yada. And some salt and pepper. Now the fish has been so, uh, sitting in ice since I caught it yesterday. It's just been filleted and cleaned the same way I've been shown how to on a million different YouTube videos. Um, it gives you sweet FA in the way of bloody the amount of fish that you actually cat, uh, eaten, but yeah, let's give it a try. Let's go a small a bit first. Okay, that's a little piece from above the rib cage. Dip that in the flour with some salt and pepper. Little tongs and shit there. Bit of oil. I 
only thing I don't have is a clean plate. Now this is how I cook the majority of my fish when I'm eating flathead or anything like that. It's the salt, pepper, oil and a bit of flour. Um, the shallow fried. So this will give me a comparison uh, point to be able to compare it to everything else. Give me a sec, I'm going to get another plate. Texture is feeling more like meat than um, than a fish, though. It's definitely looking thicker. I already fried a bit of frying pan that didn't have a bow in the middle. First piece, let's see what it's like. Texture's not bad. Uh, it's not rubbery or anything like that, so it's cooked alright. In all honesty, it ain't that bad. doesn't taste muddy. Um, I was trying to think what sort of salt water species to compare it to. Obviously without that much salt in it, it's going to taste different, but it's not muddy at all. <coughs> um, I wouldn't say brim, maybe if it was soaked in salt water, it would taste a bit different to uh, what it does. But yeah, it definitely doesn't, definitely doesn't taste crap. It's not a massively strong fishy taste. Uh, I've tried Australian salmon before and that was just too much. Um, it's, it's not a really strong fish taste. It's not. It's not bad. Considering the amount of fish that you actually get, or the amount of meat that you get off the fish to be able to eat, um, it's definitely not one that I'd be wanting to catch and cook all the time. Um, that was a, what, 65 centimetre fish and I got bugger all out of it, so um, there's a lot of waste. 
So it's not something I'd want to catch and cook all the time, that's for sure. But taste-wise, there's nothing wrong with it. If there was, I wouldn't be continually eating it. So there we go, guys. That's my first ever trial of carp. Uh, it was just done with salt, pepper, and flour. I normally do throw a bit of garlic in, but I don't have any. Um, it actually, in a sense, I guess it lacks flavour. It's not a real strong flavour, some fish. So maybe it lacks a little bit. It's definitely not, definitely not all that bad. Ah, uh, oh, peace. So guys, that was my taste test. Uh, first time ever trying carp. As I said, I put it on ice as soon as I caught it. Um, it's the following day now, so it's been on ice overnight. Um, I took out the pieces of fillet that everybody said to use. Um, in all honesty, it's, I think it's quite a waste. Um, it is a nice tasting fish. It actually tasted quite good. And even the missus liked it. She reckons it tastes sort of like chicken. I'd, I oh, know it doesn't have a very fishy taste, that's for sure. So, yeah, it is quite nice. Um, all I've done was flour, salt, pepper, and a bit, and shallow oil. Um, so, yeah, it, it definitely doesn't have a very strong fishy taste. Fuck off, wind. That'll go away eventually. A very... It definitely doesn't have a very strong fishy taste to it. Um, it doesn't taste like mud. It was quite nice. But considering the little amount that you get to eat, it is quite a wasteful experience. So food-wise, you know there's nothing wrong with eating carp. It does taste quite nice. Um, yes, yeah, so... I don't know, if people want to eat it, it, it's not a bad fish. Um, I just, it's not something that I'm going to go trying to catch a feed with because the amount, the size of the fish that you're catching compared to the amount of meat that you get off it, I feel is very wasteful. But, you know what, if you want to eat it, it is quite nice. So.